I've started. Okay, right? Uh, we open, we begin by opening. You can open inside the folder if you created one. You can open it up on the desktop, come to Microsoft X mm -hmm. database like this. You can rename it, maybe food, food base, okay? Then I open it. So, can enable content. So you come to create. After going to create, you can create a table design. A table design. Table design. Do not go to anything else. Then click. So I said here, we are having fields and records. What are the fields? Fields, this the column. Here in a, a, access, we call it a field. Then a row, we call it a record. So we have fields and records. We do not have rows and columns, but we have fields and records. records. Okay, now, what next are we going to look at? So I said in, in the database, when we are, the, the data you enter into the database must have what we call data types. The data types differ according to the type of data you are entering into what into the database. For example, I can I can put date, date. When I go to the data type, mm, what is this one saying? Here you reserve the word, you reserve. Okay, this word is a reserved word. Okay, so when it is a reserved word, okay. Dates, I can say dates, let me see. Okay, this one is not a reserved word. So dates, so a data type identifies which kind of data you are entering into the database. For example, date, it, it falls under date and time. Why does it fall into date and time? When you are going to feed the data into information, for example, in the in the field or in the record of date, and that field does not, and the data you are entering is not a date and time, meaning that you won't be able to write in there. So we having also short text as a data type. Short text, it has a minimum range or a maximum range of words that must be fed into the system. Long text, meaning that it is lengthy. You can put as long text as you can. Meaning that, for example, you want to put names, surnames, other names, you can put short text. If you want to put comments on the long text, for example, you want to put a paragraph and then stuff, so you can put long text. Then we have data type as a number. A number, it can be a phony number, it can be a whole number, anything that falls into numberings, you can choose a data type as a number. Then we have date and time. Date and time, I've already explained that, that anything to do with date and time, we put date and time as a data type. We have currency. If you want to write anything to do with currencies of different countries, then the data type should be identified as a currency. We have auto number. Auto number, when you are entering into the system, that one generates itself. For example, it begins from one, two, three, four, five. That is auto number, as we shall be seeing in our live examples. Then we have the yes and the no. When you choose data type yes and the no, that one will bring check boxes. When you check in, it, that means yes. When you check out, meaning no. All object, we shall be look, looking at all object. Hyperlink, hyperlink like we did in Microsoft Word, you can link documents into database by using hyperlink. Attachment, that is also a data type if you want to attach something, meaning that you can use attachment. Calculated, if you have, you need, you have like calculations, you want to feed it into this, for example, maybe you have total, maybe balance, you can still put calculated so that it can give you the, the value according to the way you stated your formulas. So for example, when I say calculated, it takes me to the field where I must put my calculations to get the answer so that when I'm entering the information right there, they automatically bring according to the formula I, I, have, I, I would have put in here. So when we go to which data type, lookup wizard, lookup wizard uh, gives us, is unable to sell lookup wizard, lookup wizard doesn't apply to the fields that we of this. Okay, lookup wizard, uh, lookup wizard, it is also like, it gives us to choose to get options as we shall be seeing as well. So 
let's get in started. Then we see, we make some, some data types with examples. For example, here I can begin with an ID, ID. For example, ID one, I'm going to do different yeah. IDs. You see how they differ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Lwache yange data base access, lwache inagundi. E ina awali date and time extended. Yate ye kola yange chiyo. Date and time extended? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Na yenga ina ne date and time alone? Yes, ina date and time, then ina ne date and time extended. Mm. So it can be an extension of dates. It, it literally means the same. Mm. Maybe the difference could be date and time extended. Date and time extended. Yeah, when you need you have a date and time, when said that get it, date and time extended. Okay, so access, which micro, which office are you using? 2019. 2019, oh. That one's a more updated version. Okay, I will tell you more about that after making the research. Okay. Okay. So, ID2, we can put, um, let's put auto number. Auto number can be this because I want us to see the difference between auto number and short text. Then we can say names. Names can also be short text. Then we can say amount. Amount can be in currency as a data type. Mm -hmm. Then we can say date of birth. Date of birth can be in the data type of date and time. Mm, then we can say department. Department. Department can be in, let's say department, we want to put in lookup wizard. So lookup wizard, for example, we have four departments. We would like just to pick them. Then here they say this wizard creates a lookup field which displays a list of values that you can choose from. How do you want your lookup field to get its values? One, I want I want the lookup field to get the values from another table or query. Two, I will type the values that I want. So I need to type. I say next. So here I can say, remember we're having department. We can have ICT. We can have fashion. Can have food. We can have um, science. So let's put all those four departments. Then we say next. So they are saying, do you want to limit entries to choose choices? Or do you want to store multiple values? I want to store multiple values. They say allow, then and finish. Okay, let's first use these data types alone. From here, you click save. You save. We are going to call it our data table. Data table. You can name it anything, then click. Uh -huh. I had forgotten something. So there is something you should not forget, which is the primary key. Hmm? What is the use of the primary key? Primary key is the universal identifier. The universal identifier that identifies or can differentiate all the items that we put. For example, when you are in a company or in a school, how do they differentiate the students from the rest? Because we can have students with the same name, students with the same height, same test, and same everything. But how do they identify them? By, the, by giving them a primary key. So a primary key cannot be names because we can have the same names. Not so. A primary key cannot be amount because we can have the same the same salary. See what you did? A primary key cannot be date and time or date of birth because we can be born at the same time, the same hour, the same everything. Cannot be department. We can be the same department. What can differ is the ID. Everybody has got his own different ID. See what you did? Yeah. So we go here, we select this. Then we put a primary key. After putting a primary key, you select, huh? You select like this, then you click on the primary, primary key. So after putting a primary key, you can search. 
you can save. So our table is here. From here, you can come to view, then it say data sheet view. So you see ID, BB, you know, they have come like this. Huh? So here, this is our data sheet view. This one is the design view. This is the design view where we can add in, maybe I can say tests. I can and add in what? tests. Maybe I say yes and no, then I save. When I come back to the data sheet view, it can be added. You see yes and no, it brings this checkbox. Then, when we draw the department, see, let's first feed in some information. For example, on the first ID, what do we put? On the first ID, mm, let me say design view. First ID to Agambi, short text, we are going to see. Let's go back, short text. Here we can write anything. For example, modern computer world UG001. Now, whatever auto number, you take a call your car. You see, you cannot write anything in the auto number field. You see, I'm trying to put in some data, but I cannot. Why? Because it is the auto number. Okay? So we can put in names, for example. Mm. Okay, then amount, I can put any amount. Mm, yeah, 1000 date of birth so you, yeah. you see date of birth you, you can choose from the calendar so calling you see now department what are the look up wizard look up wizard when we click on the drop down button they are here the departments that we put the departments that we put in the lookup wizard here, you just choose maybe ICT. Then you enter here, maybe test. Yes, you click yes or no, save. You go to the next one, you put it, another one, maybe modern computer world DUG 0002. Auto number puts itself because it is auto number. Then you can put maybe can put mm -hmm. here date of birth you can write or or choose from the calendar Department, you cannot write. You just choose from the drop down button because you put look up with that. So here, when you don't click, meaning no. So you can feed as very information, as very many information as you can. Hmm? As many information as you see, auto number generates itself. So let's try to put in the data. For example, here we say the currency. What if we put something that is not in the currency, what does it do? You see, the value you enter does not match the currency data type in this column. Enter a new value. Convert the data in this column to the text data type. Have you seen what I was talking about? Yeah. When you try to enter the data does not, does not belong to that data type, the system will tell you the data, the data doesn't belong there. So, Let's see the dates, date and time. When you also put date and time and, and click that, uh, you see it also brings the same the same stuff. But in the past, yeah. So uh huh. Let's try to. Put in. So guys, any questions? Yeah. Take a minute, please. Hmm. Uh, no data type in a limit here, but we know you in Giza. It is not limited. Cut we want to get unlimited. Cut to get the nine Giza and to get me to a return. Uh-huh. I want to have a banjo, Kubanga, but I ping a in in so what you call a auto. What I ping a in? 
Yeah. Then how will, how can you feed some is data into the system by auto means? Okay, another question. Uh huh. 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 Uh one by one. Mm -hmm. So we are not your moon to within a second. Okay, we shall look into that. Because we have these futures, go to the place, find, we have everything. Teacher, we're going to do the demo came away. Who that? Anje? Vero Cup. Huh? Vero Cup. What is it? Vero Cup. Hey. Here in access. Hey, walo, is it a true cup? Walo, what is the demo? Like keyword, you have the keyword. You know, you say, Muse. Primary key. Primary, primary key. key. I said the yeah. primary key, not the lookup. <laughs> this is the primary key. I said if you want to put a primary oh. key, you, you uh -huh. select the, the thing you want to put. Then you click on the primary key. But the primary key is the unique identifier. Hmm. Wanji? Kruache, the young lady is the primary key. Look up. Mm. Huh? It was something like look up, no take um. Something like what? Look up, look up. We look up. Go mazok feeding at that table. Hmm. That look up was it was in data in a data type. You don't know the look up, the look up value. I said, for example, still let me do this one again. For example, I can say subjects. And within subjects, for example, we have like four subjects, and I don't want to type in there. I just want to choose the subjects. So I will come, then I say look up wizard. Then I say I will type the values I want. Yeah. Next. So you type subjects you have MTC, which is math. We have science, SST maybe, and English. Yeah, well, Instead I, of typing, I can I choose. Nice. Then you click next. So they will ask you, do you want to limit the entries? When you limit the entries, meaning that a few entries will shall pop up. Then they say, do you want to restore multiple entries or multiple values for the lookup? Then you click yes, then finish. So when you save here and come back to the, to the table view, you see the subjects come in. So here I can just choose and say this one belongs to MTC. Instead of writing it here, I can just choose from the drop down. Okay? okay. You got me point? So, say, say. Uh -huh. Gabenti on a database, you are telling your college a ID like cutting up Uganda and go registering IDs to Gabenti on a database. This is the beginner's database, they are advanced database like SQL, PHP, and other stuff. You know, this is the beginning, but this one is also complex. But this is the beginning of database. Ate a solo getting a hack on a database. Go to the casual getting a hack. Hacked? Yeah, the Tiwali Chin Twitch Tavira hacked. So long as it's computerized, the Chin Twitch so long as it's computerized, it can be hacked. So, much protecting about here. What are the ways to protect it? Do you know against them security? Take a pin and password. How do you protect your computer from hackers? And cutting up with we are cyber security and like database cut together to remove your one to Jakunga and you take a more password. You know, I've made our procedures is very followed. And the right firewalls. Okay. After here, teacher, you take in or go in the class. So, any other questions? No. Huh? 
Uh, Wayo gedeko kwa ipa link. Ipa link yo ya muga sochi mu database. Nga mwe kisi. Ipa link still Google. like other, like other data types it has also got another value. Hyperlink, you are linking some data. For example, when I click on hyperlink, let me try to save and see. Hyperlink. So you see, a hype. Unable to open HTTPs, you can also get the internet server. So a hyperlink is like, for example, I say a hyperlink, it is like a URL that takes you to a new, to the external, to the external document, for example. For example, we will take a call, we take a HTTP, GHCP. So GHCGC, we even an address that we are going to follow to access the information within the hyperlink. For example, you can put google.com. So this is the hyperlink. When I put a hyperlink, meaning that it must direct me to everything. I can write this then. I use, I use hyperlink data type as a data source. For example, if you need to know more about this information, you put a hyperlink so that if anybody goes there and clicks, you have to add any information. Also, you can take your WhatsApp, your WhatsApp, your, your WhatsApp address, never have hyperlink. Okay? Okay. So anything that leads you to the external data source, It is a hyperlink. I cannot open this phone number. So, no, so take a link your WhatsApp, your SIN number. See where it is. In that name, number, nice WhatsApp address. And she was saying, we not take a link. But then, is it your WhatsApp? Okay, guys, that's it. Any other question? Maybe, uh, iPhone, Galaxy Note 9, then Stella, Stella, you can inbox me after here. Okay. Otherwise, nice stay at your places. And good night. <laughs> iPhone HK Galax, Galax Note 9 uh, and who? And Stella, Stella Maris. Otherwise, Guys, you try and get some, you enter some data into your into your databases, then and show up your the proof complimented work. So let's meet tomorrow, guys.